He also how Ong Yu Sin smashed his way to the men's doubles finals at the Badminton Asian Championships, right? Yep, he's playing with this incredible looking Blade X 900 Max Sun Edition right here. First off, I want to say my customary thank you to Leaning Studio for letting me test this Blade X 900 Max right here. So remember to use my CKYW code for additional discounts if you're shopping with them. There are two bracket models for this Blade X 900 Max. The first one is the Sun model and the second is the Moon. At the time of writing this, I've not been able to get hold of the Moon Edition racket. So obviously I'll be reviewing it when I can get my hands on it. Both rackets on paper appear to have similar specs but should have a different feel, so we'll find out soon enough. Also, let's address the big elephant in the room here. What's going on with this naming convention? It's fine when you add one phrase behind the racket model number, but two separate descriptors is just too much. Blade X 800 and Blade X 900 sounds fine. Add one extra descriptor behind the model number, such as Blade X 900 Max or Blade X 900 Sun, is still pretty good. But Blade X 900 Sun Max or Blade X 900 Max Sun is just a little bit too much for me. So I posted my review of the Blade X 800 previously and was pretty disappointed with the performance, feel and even looks of the racket and overall. I personally cannot get on with it at all, especially as a flagship racket model. So with the Blade X being one of Li Ning's speed racket series, I was quite surprised to find how the 800 turned out. So watch my in-depth review right here to find out more. However, when we compare this Blade X 900 Max to the 800, it seemed like a lot has happened since then as there are differences within the frame, changes to the shaft, changes to the looks, grip size is also different and even the butt cap has been updated to Leaning's current generation ones. So lots of big updates and have I mentioned how good this thing looks yet? First thing you immediately see is the differences between the racket decal design from the 900 Sun Max to the 800. The 900 Sun Max looks so much more premium off the eye when compared next to the 800. It feels like there's a different team of designers at work here comparing both rackets side by side. For me it's just night and day in terms of quality and looks. My favourite section of the racket is the 12 o'clock area where there's a cool looking sun shining back at us. The matte gold finish just matches the racket design perfectly and the whole racket just feels like I'm in a Transformer movie with an Egyptian twist. Very cool indeed. In terms of the racket frame, the 900 Sun Max has more recess profile area compared to the 800. The 900 had approximately 60% of the size of its frame in the recess profile whilst the 800 only had about half. Also, I noticed there were three grommet types that were used in this 900 Sun Max. First off is Leaning's very premium and thick looking grommets which were also present on the 800. They normally sport two Leaning logos on each side of the grommet. And next up was Leaning's newer type grommet which I first came across on my Leaning Halbotech 800 bracket review. They also sport two of Leaning's logos but have more rounded curve on the grommet edges. Less premium looking in my opinion. And third is the grommet that has been only present in the shared hole grommets. They have a single leaning logo and then the leaning wording underneath it. This is only similar to the first one so I do like it. Which type of grommets do you prefer in your rackets? Let me know in the comment section below too. Also remember to protect your precious Valentine rackets with the premium racket protection tape on ckyw.com forward slash shop. Your rackets are worth it. In terms of racket specs, the Blade X 900 Sun Max has a frame thickness of 10.1mm which is thinner compared to the 800 which came in at 10.3mm. Frame height and width were almost identical at 24cm in height and 18.5cm in width. As mentioned before, the 900 Sun Max has about 10% more recessed frame profile against the 800 at 60% recessed area. For the racket shaft, the 900 Sun Max has a pretty thin shaft coming in at only 6.8mm. That makes this the second thinnest shaft I've ever measured on a leaning racket. The thinnest shaft for a leaning racket so far came from the Axe Force 90 Maxes, so check out my review of them here too. Besides the thin shaft, Blade X 900 Sun Max also have a 21cm shaft length, which is shorter than the 800 by half a centimeter. The shaft is connected to a handle of 17cm, which again is shorter compared to the 800 again by half a centimeter too. So in essence, the 900 Sun Max has a thinner shaft, thinner frame, shorter shaft and shorter handle compared to the 800, all signs pointing towards a smoother and faster swinging racket so far. Oh yes, the cone is the same, which is the pretty bland looking cone cap, but certainly effective enough as I grip my rackets over them anyways. 
Also mentioned at the start, the Blade X900 Sun Max now come in a G6 script size for 4U racket models. So this one is a 4U G6, which personally, I love it so far. Stringing wise, the 900 Max is rated up to £30 for a 4U model and £31 for a 3U model. I had no issues stringing them with my usual Yonex Aerobyte string at £27x29 setup. In terms of racket feel, I felt the dry racket swings were already a step up compared to the Blade X800. This 900 Sun Max definitely had more head weight compared to the 800 when you're swinging it and also felt a little bit more comfortable during hitting too. I think this is aided by slightly more head weight, helping transfer that little bit more energy through the racket strings onto the shuttle compared to the 800, which I never felt I had too much control at times. In terms of direct head weight comparisons, I think this 900 Sun Max is similar to an Yonex ArcSaber 11 Pro, although hitting feel is slightly different. The hitting feeling coming from the shuttle was actually pretty good. The nice combination of decent head weight paired with what I felt was a relatively whippy shaft makes for an interesting experience. This behaviour from the racket did remind me a little of the old school Yonex Voltric 80 from many years ago, which certainly had more head weight compared to this 900 Sun Max from memory, but the racket response felt somewhat similar. Additionally, I was also testing this Blade X900 Sun Max alongside the Halbertech 8000, and I was able to feel the 900 Sun Max had a softer and flexier or slightly laggier response compared to the Halbertech 8000. In terms of pure racket swinging speed, I don't think the 900 Sun Max actually swings faster than the Blade X800, simply because the 900 Sun Max had more head weight. But it's not far behind in terms of speed because of the slightly thinner frame and shaft alongside more recessed frame profile. Up to this point, I felt it was already a big step up compared to my previous Blade X800 experience, as the Blade X Racket series isn't the most compliant or user friendly, especially under pressure in defense. The 900 Sun Max made a big step forward in this regard when compared to the 800. It's still not as nice or as easy to play with compared to say the Yonex ArcSaber 11 Pro, but it's certainly a step in the right direction for leaning with this Blade X series. I was certainly caught a few times under pressure and wasn't able to get out of jail as well as the Arcs of 11 Pro. In the power department, this 900 Sun Max is pretty decent as it's got that slight head heaviness to it, so power generation was really straightforward. If you like the power from an ArcSave 11 Pro, you'd be fine with this one. Big power smashes like the one you see from Ong Yee Sin felt pretty good when you catch them right, so no problem there. In a nutshell, this 900 Sun Max is a big step up from the 800 in my experience. More power, more control, better feel, just almost as fast and looks much nicer in my opinion. I can't wait to test out the 900 Moon Max 2. See why it's weird? If you like whippy rackets with slightly head heavy feel, this will be your racket of choice. It might not be the most compliant racket in the world, but you enjoy the feel from this one. Check out my other Leaning Bamman Racket reviews here, or to understand the full leaning range of Bamman's rackets, here. Until then, I will see you in the next one.